Mass readings for Sunday, March 10, 2024. Fourth Sunday of Lent, Second Scrutiny of the Elect. Lenten Mass Readings. Lectionary, 32. First Reading, Second Chronicles 36, verses 14 to 16 and 19 to 23. Moreover, all the chief of the priests, and the people wickedly transgressed according to all the abominations of the Gentiles, and they defiled the house of the Lord, which he had sanctified to himself in Jerusalem. And the Lord the God of their fathers sent to them, by the hand of his messengers, rising early, and daily admonishing them, because he spared his people and his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God, and despised his words, and misused the prophets, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, and there was no remedy. And the enemies set fire to the house of God, and broke down the wall of Jerusalem, burnt all the towers, and whatsoever was precious they destroyed. Whosoever escaped the sword, was led into Babylon, and there served the king and his sons till the reign of the king of Persia. That the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, and the land might keep her Sabbaths, for all the days of the desolation she kept a Sabbath, till the seventy years were expired. But in the first year of Cyrus king of the Persians, to fulfill the word of the Lord, which he had spoken by the mouth of Jeremiah, the Lord stirred up the heart of Cyrus king of the Persians who commanded it to be proclaimed through all his kingdom, and by writing also, saying, Thus saith Cyrus king of the Persians, all the kingdoms of the earth hath the Lord the God of heaven given to me, and he hath charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judea, who is there among you of all his people. The Lord is God be with him, and let him go up. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Response. Let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. Upon the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, when we remembered Shaun. On the willows in the midst thereof we hung up our instruments. Response, let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. For there they that led us into captivity required of us the words of songs. And they that carried us away, said, Sing ye to us a hymn of the songs of Shaun. Response, let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. How shall we sing the song of the Lord in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand be forgotten. Response, let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. Let my tongue cleave to my jaws, if I do not remember thee, if I make not Jerusalem the beginning of my joy. Response, let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. Second reading, Ephesians 2, verses 4 to 10. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his exceeding charity wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together in Christ, by whose grace you are saved, and hath raised us up together, and hath made us sit together in the heavenly places, through Christ Jesus that he might shew in the ages to come the abundant riches of his grace, in his bounty towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, for it is the gift of God. Not of works, that no man may glory. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus in good works, which God hath prepared that we should walk in them. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Verse before the Gospel God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Gospel, John 3, verses 14 to 21 And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That whosoever believeth in him may not perish, but may have life everlasting. For God so loved the world, as to give his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, may not perish, but may have life everlasting. For God sent not his Son into the world, to judge the world, 
but that the world may be saved by him. He that believeth in him is not judged. But he that doth not believe, is already judged, because he believeth not in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the judgment, because the light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than the light, for their works were evil. For every one that doth evil hadeth the light, and cometh not to the light, that his works may not be reproved. But he that doth truth, cometh to the light, that his works may be made manifest, because they are done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.